I think beekeeping just fits because uh, you're outside, you get to see how nature works. It's, they're fascinating creatures. You get to see how they, they communicate with each other, how they forage for the plants, how they organize the hive, their, the, the division of labor that they have inside the hive. I mean, every bee has a responsibility. Some are wax workers, some are guards, some are ventilation workers, some attend to the needs of the queen, uh, some are taking care of the, the young. It's amazing and you just learn so much. If you're into science or biology, it's just fascinating to learn about honeybee behavior. They're probably one of the most studied insects ever on the planet. My grandmother had bees and she showed me how to do it and I learned a lot from her. Her grandparents actually carried bees in covered wagons into southern Utah. So she has a history of keeping bees and I just picked it up from her and I, I really enjoy it. It's a great, a great sideline, a great hobby to have. Well, honeybees are, uh, I think, a good indicator of our environment because they're out there, they're foraging, uh, they'll fly about uh, th three to sometimes five miles from this location, searching for nectar sources and, and floral sources. But some of the challenges we face are the practices that people have been doing. Are, for example, pesticide use has increased a lot. A lot of farmers use pesticides, homeowners use pesticides, and there's the feeling that any bug is a bad bug among many people, but that's not true. Honeybees are very beneficial. They pollinate. That's the number one reason we have honeybees is for the pollination. That's uh, Beekeepers actually earn more from pollination fees than they do from the honey. So many of our crops are dependent on honeybees. For example, almonds, and apples, or you know, peaches, pears, plums, uh, avocados, I mean you name it, seed crops, cherries, everything. A lot, about a third of everything we eat comes from honeybees. So that's very important, but the problem is, is that pesticides are affecting honeybees because if you try to spray to kill the bad bugs, you sometimes get the, the good ones. Of course, the number one reason I think more people don't keep honeybees is because they have this little problem called a stinger that's attached to the, every bee. <laughs> and, you know, they do sting. Some people are extremely afraid of honeybees. They think they're, you know, they're, you know, they're deadly. And, and I know, what, you know there are a few people who have allergic reactions to them and they've learned to carry a, you know, an EpiPen or something in case. But for the most part they're gentle and, and, and many times I can walk around this hive, you see I'm not very far from these hives, and they don't bother you. They just, they're out doing their, their work. But unfortunately people think of them as being aggressive, of being dangerous, and they are not. If you get lots of flowers, I mean they'll, they'll rake it in. <laughs> They just, but if they have the hunt and search for it, then it slows them down a little bit. Weather plays a factor too. If you get cold weather and rain, you know. Now I'm not going to Seattle, that's one area that they, the beekeepers oh, I wish the sun had come out a little bit and then they could fly, because they don't like to fly if it's cold. I just think we, as a, a society, need to do all we can to help keep honeybees alive and, and, and working well. It's so important to, to us. Like I said, a third of everything we eat is a direct result of honeybee pollinating those fruits and vegetables. And I even talk to homeowners who will say, yeah, my, my fruit trees didn't do very good, but there's no bees. I go out in the yard, there's not any bees around. And that, that's the reason why. It's, it's you got to have the, the pollination to produce the fruits and vegetables we need to survive as, as mankind. Not only that, but seeds, like alfalfa seed, carrot seed, onion seed, they all have to set seed based on what the, the bees are doing. So one thing I would just say is if you're a homeowner, uh, be careful about using uh, pesticides and sprays. Follow the label, you know, spray in the evening or when bees are not flying or when it's not in bloom. Be sure you, you do that. Be, just be sensitive to those things. Um, and there's a lot of people who like to plant bee-friendly flowers. There are certain types of flowers and plants that, that attract bees and bring them into your garden. So I think that would be my advice is to do what you can to to support beekeeping. I know in some communities people would like to have a hive or two in their backyard and I, I would certainly encourage that. Uh, you have responsible beekeepers that will make sure those hives are taken care of and uh, you know they can get they get along well with neighbors. People in the city, high rises, they do very well there and it's, it's, it's a great great thing for us to work in harmony with what the bees would like to do.